Have you been feeling tired and drained in the past few days? Then get ready to discover the 8.5 secret habit that will supercharge your days and have you feeling energized from sunrise to sunset. There's also a bonus tip included in this video, so make sure to stick around for it to find out exactly how to skyrocket your energy levels. Tip 1. Do this when you wake up. When we expose ourselves to natural sunlight, it stimulates the production of serotonin, a hormone that plays a crucial role in mood regulation and increasing our energy levels. Sunlight also helps regulate our internal body clock, known as the circadian rhythm. This rhythm influences our sleep-wake cycle, and when it's in sync, we experience better quality sleep, wake up feeling refreshed, and have more energy throughout the day. So the next time you're feeling a little low on energy, forget the energy drink aisle and head straight for the nearest sunbeam. Just remember to bring your sunscreen and sunglasses as we don't want you to become a walking disco ball now, do we? But wait, there's more. Sunlight also stimulates the production of serotonin, the happy hormone that puts a smile on our faces and helps boost our mood. Who doesn't want a dose of natural happiness to start their day, am I right? Now let's talk about how you can incorporate sunlight and walking into your daily routine to maximize their energy-boosting benefits. Aim for at least 15 to 30 minutes of sunlight exposure every day, preferably in the morning or early afternoon when the sunlight is less harsh. It's important to know that you shouldn't look directly into the sunlight. Just look at the direction of where the sun is. If your eyes are hurting, start looking in another direction to protect them. Do you have rainy days in the place you live in? Well, no worries. You can buy a light therapy lamp and shine it at your face for 30 to 60 minutes. It's not the same as getting sunlight, but it's still better than nothing. Tip number two, stop eating this before breakfast. We all know that breakfast is considered the most important meal of the day as it provides the fuel and nutrients that we need to smash our mornings. However, it's crucial to be mindful of the types of food we choose to fuel our bodies. One of the biggest concerns with sugary breakfast is the high sugar content. When we consume foods loaded with sugar, our bodies experience a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. To counteract the spike, our pancreas releases insulin, a hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. The problem arises when we consistently consume sugary breakfast, overwhelming our system with excess sugar. While the initial sugar rush may give us a temporary energy boost, it's often followed by a crash. This roller coaster effect can leave us feeling tired, sluggish, and lacking in energy. Additionally, Sugary breakfast can trigger cravings for more sugar throughout the day. When we consume high amounts of sugar, our taste buds become accustomed to the intense sweetness, leading us to seek out more sugar to satisfy our cravings. Choosing a balanced breakfast that includes whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats is a much better option. These foods provide a slow and steady release of energy, keeping us fueled and focused throughout the day. A nutritious breakfast can also help stabilize our blood sugar levels, preventing the energy crashes and sugar cravings that often come with consuming sugary foods. So what are some healthier alternatives to sugary breakfasts? First off, smoothie bowls. Smoothie bowls are not only visually appealing, but are also packed with nutrients. Blend together a combination of frozen fruits, leafy greens like spinach or kale, a scoop of protein powder or Greek yogurt, and a splash of liquid like almond milk or coconut water. Pour the thick mixture into a bowl and top it with fresh fruit slices, chia seeds, and granola for a satisfying and refreshing breakfast. Avocado Toast Avocado Toast has gained popularity for a good reason. It's simple, delicious, and packed with healthy fats. Toast a slice of whole grain bread, spread ripe avocado on top, and add a sprinkle of sea salt, black pepper, and a squeeze of lemon juice. For an extra boost of protein, you can add a poached egg or a few slices of smoked salmon. 
Greek Yogurt Parfaits Greek yogurt is a fantastic source of protein, and when combined with nutritious toppings, it becomes a delightful breakfast option. Layer Greek yogurt with fresh berries, sliced almonds, and a drizzle of honey or a sprinkle of granola for added texture. It's a balanced and creamy way to kickstart your day. These are just a few examples of healthier alternatives to sugary breakfasts. Remember to focus on whole foods, incorporate a balance of macronutrients, and choose natural sweeteners like fresh fruit or a touch of honey if needed. Fueling your body with nutrient-dense options will provide sustained energy and keep you satisfied until your next meal. Tip number three, be smart when consuming this. Caffeine is a widely consumed stimulant that provide a much needed boost to kickstart your day. In the morning, it can help increase alertness, improve focus, and enhance productivity. However, it's important to be mindful of how you consume caffeine and how it affects your body. Let's break this chapter down into two parts to give you a better understanding. Did you know that drinking caffeine too early in the day has a negative impact on your energy levels? By waiting for 1.5 to 2 hours after waking up, we can enhance the benefits of caffeine and improve our overall well-being. It also improves the energy crash most people experience in the afternoon. In the morning, our bodies naturally produce a hormone called cortisol that helps us feel awake and alert. At the same time, adenosine, a neurotransmitter that promotes relaxation and sleepiness, gradually accumulates in our brains. Now here's the problem. When we consume caffeine, it blocks the effects of adenosine, making us feel more awake and alert. While this may seem like a good thing, it can interfere with our natural sleep-wake cycle. It also tricks our bodies into thinking it's not time to wake up yet, leading to a delay in our natural energy levels and potentially affecting our productivity. It's important to prioritize a balanced caffeine routine and give our bodies a chance to wake up naturally before relying on external stimulants. Instead of reaching for a cup of caffeinated beverage first thing in the morning, consider starting your day with a glass of water or a healthy breakfast to rehydrate and feed your body. Now when it comes to utilizing caffeine in the evening, we need to be more cautious. Consuming too much caffeine close to bedtime can disrupt our sleep patterns and leave us feeling restless. But fear not, there are still ways to enjoy a cup of caffeinated goodness in the evening without sacrificing a good night's sleep. If you still crave a warm beverage but want to avoid the stimulating effects of caffeine, then opt for decaffeinated herbal teas. They come in a wide variety of flavors and can be a soothing and relaxing way to end your day. Chamomile tea in particular is known for its calming properties and can help promote better sleep. It's a great alternative to caffeinated beverages in the evening and you can even add a dash of honey or lemon for added flavor. Remember, if you do choose to consume caffeine in the morning, it's important to do so at least 4 to 6 hours before bedtime. This gives your body enough time to metabolize the caffeine and reduces the chances of it interfering with your sleep. Tip 4. Remove this from your workspace. We all know how easily distractions can creep into our work routine, stealing our attention and hindering our productivity. But hold on, with a few simple tips, we can transform our workspace into a haven of concentration and efficiency. One of the biggest culprits of distraction is our trusty companion, the smartphone. Those notifications, social media temptations, and endless apps can divert our attention away from the task at hand. The first step is to minimize distractions from our smartphones. Consider turning off non-essential notifications or utilizing the Do Not Disturb mode during focused work sessions. If possible, keep your phone out of sight or in a different room to resist the temptation of reaching for it. Next. Let's tackle physical clutter. A cluttered desk can create a visual overload and make it challenging to concentrate. 
take a few minutes each day to declutter your workspace by organizing papers, removing unnecessary items, and creating designated spaces for essential tools. So let's bid farewell to the dusk party of disarray and create a clean, clutter-free zone where your productivity can dance and your focus can groove. In the digital realm, organizing your computer files can also make a significant difference. Create folders and subfolders to categorize your documents and streamline your virtual workspace. This way, you can quickly find what you need without quickly getting lost in a sea of files. Now here's our bonus tip. In today's fast-paced world, we often find ourselves juggling numerous responsibilities, constantly switching between tasks, and trying to keep up with the demands of our daily lives. It's no wonder we believe multitasking is the answer. But here's the reality. Our brains are not actually designed for true multitasking. While we may think we're efficiently managing multiple tasks, what we're actually doing is task switching repeatedly. Each time we switch tasks, our brain needs to readjust, refocus, and reorient itself to the new task at hand. This constant shifting takes a toll on our cognitive abilities and can lead to decreased productivity, increased errors, and heightened stress levels. Research has shown that when we multitask, it takes us longer to complete each individual task compared to when we focus on one task at a time. It's like trying to sprint multiple races simultaneously instead of giving our full energy and attention to one race at a time. So what's the alternative? It's called single tasking, which is the art of dedicating your full attention to one task at a time. By focusing on a single task, we can bring our best efforts, concentration, and creativity to the table. To implement single tasking, try using time blocking or the Pomodoro technique. Set specific periods for focused work on one task, eliminate distractions, and give yourself permission to fully engage in that task without the pressure of trying to do everything at once. By adopting a single tasking mindset, we can enhance our productivity, reduce stress levels, and improve the quality of our work. It allows us to truly immerse ourselves at the task at hand, fostering a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. Tip 5. Take a walk after a meal. We all know that feeling of a food coma after indulging in a satisfying meal. While it may seem counterintuitive, going for a walk can actually invigorate you and provide a natural energy boost. When we eat, our body focuses its energy on digesting and metabolizing the food we consume. This process requires a significant amount of energy which can leave us feeling sluggish and tired. But here's the exciting part. Engaging in light exercise, like going for a walk, can help redirect that energy to support digestion while simultaneously giving us an energy lift. Walking after a meal increases blood flow throughout the body, including to our digestive system. This enhanced blood circulation helps deliver oxygen and nutrients to our organs, aiding in the digestion and absorption of nutrients. As a result, our body becomes more efficient at processing the food we've consumed, freeing up energy for other activities. Walking triggers the release of endorphins, those feel-good chemicals in our brain. These endorphins can boost our mood, reduce stress, and increase our overall energy levels. So not only does a post-meal walk aid digestion, but it also leaves us feeling more alert and rejuvenated. It also reduces the energy dip in the afternoon. What if it's raining or you can't take a walk at all? Simply use the stairs instead of the elevator. It's a simple and healthy habit to adopt after a big meal. Do you have a Zoom call right after lunch? Try walking around in your office while you take the call on your wireless headphones. It's not the same as walking outside, but it's still better than sitting all day long. Remember, walking is a fantastic way to boost your energy levels, but let's keep it real. If you're on a phone call and decide to go for a walk, just make sure you don't accidentally wander off into a completely different time zone. Trust me, explaining to your boss that you've unintentionally become an international explorer during a conference call might be a tad tricky.
Tip 6. Start Temptation Bundling Have you ever struggled to find the motivation to do certain tasks while other activities effortlessly capture your attention? Well, that's where Temptation Bundling comes into play. It's a concept that pairs a tempting activity or reward with a task you want to accomplish. The idea behind Temptation Bundling is to make the less desirable tasks more enjoyable by linking them to activities you genuinely look forward to. By creating this positive association, you're more likely to stay engaged, motivated, and consistent. Let me walk you through the process of implementing Temptation Bundling in your own life. Here's how it works. First off, identify your tempting activities. Start by identifying the activities you find most enjoyable or enticing. These can be things like watching your favorite TV show, listening to a captivating audiobook, or indulging in a tasty snack. Number 2. Identify the tasks you want to accomplish. Next, make a list of the tasks you need or want to accomplish. These can be anything from household chores, work-related projects, or personal goals you're working towards. Number 3. Pair the activities with the tasks. Now pair each tempting activity with a specific task. For example, you can designate a particular TV show or audiobook as a reward for doing household chores or working on a project. The key is to link the enjoyable activity with the less desirable one. Number 4. Create a schedule or rule. Establish a rule or schedule that enforces the connection between the tempting activity and the task. For instance, you can commit to only watching the TV show while exercising or listen to an audiobook while doing laundry. This ensures that the reward is directly linked to the task. Here are a few examples of temptation bundling in action. You could save your favorite podcast for listening to while you do a meal prep. You can reserve your favorite treat for enjoying after completing your workout, or you can set aside a guilty pleasure book that you only allow yourself to read during your commute. The beauty of temptation bundling is that it can help overcome procrastination, increase productivity, and make tasks feel more enjoyable. By associating them with activities you love, you create a positive reinforcement loop that motivates you to get things done. Imagine this. You have a daunting task ahead of you, like cleaning out the garage or doing your taxes. Now what if I told you that every time you make progress on that task, you get to indulge in a guilty pleasure? Picture this, you're knee-deep in paperwork, and suddenly you hear the siren call of your favorite TV show saying, Hey buddy, you've earned a break. Now that's some next level motivation right there. Suddenly. Cleaning out the garage becomes a game of how many episodes can I watch while decluttering. It's like productivity on steroids. Tip 7. Improve your sleep environment When it comes to optimizing your sleep environment, there are three key factors to consider. Temperature, light, and noise. Let's delve into each of them and discover how they can help you achieve a more peaceful and rejuvenating sleep. Number 1. Keep the bedroom cold one important aspect of a sleep-friendly environment is maintaining a cool temperature. The ideal bedroom temperature for most people ranges between 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 19 degrees Celsius. Cooling down your room helps to signal your body that it's time to wind down and encourages a more comfortable sleep. But be careful, if you make it too cool, you might wake up feeling like you're in an episode of Frozen instead of getting a good night's sleep. After all, we don't want any accidental eye sculptures happening in the morning now, do we? Experiment with different methods to cool your bedroom, such as using a fan, adjusting the thermostat, or even opening a window for fresh air circulation. Find the temperature that feels most comfortable for you and promotes a restful slumber. Number 2. Keep the bedroom dark Creating a dark environment in your bedroom is essential for optimal sleep. Light can disrupt your body's natural sleep-wake cycle and hinder the production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep. Minimizing light exposure helps signal to your brain that it's time to sleep. 
Invest in blackout curtains or blinds that effectively block out external light sources. You can also use an eye mask if necessary. Eliminate or cover any electronic devices that emit light, such as clocks or standby indicator lights. Creating a cave-like darkness in your bedroom sets the stage for deep and uninterrupted sleep. Number 3. Use a white noise machine. Noise can be a significant sleep disruptor, especially if you live in a noisy environment or struggle with sensitivity to sound. White noise machines are fantastic tools for masking disruptive noises and creating a soothing environment for sleep. A white noise machine generates a consistent calming sound that helps drown out other sounds and promotes a more peaceful sleep environment. You can choose from various white noise options such as gentle rain, ocean waves, or even a steady hum. Experiment with different sounds to find what works best for you. By implementing these strategies and optimizing your sleep environment, you're setting yourself up for a more restful and rejuvenating sleep. Quality sleep has numerous benefits, including improved mood, enhanced cognitive function, and better overall health and well-being. Tip 8. Journal for the next day. Journaling isn't just about recording past events or emotions. It can also be a proactive tool for planning and setting intentions. Journaling for the next day is a practice that allows you to start each day with purpose and focus. Let's explore how it works. The concept is quite simple. The night before, take a few minutes to reflect on the day that has passed and prepare for the day ahead. Here are some steps you can follow to make the most out of journaling for the next day. Number 1. Gratitude and Reflection Begin by expressing gratitude for the day that has come to a close. Reflect on the positive moments, achievements, and lessons learned. This sets a positive tone and cultivates a sense of appreciation. Number 2. Review and Assess Take a moment to review your to-do list or any unfinished tasks from the current day. Assess what needs to be carried forward to the next day and what can be completed or let go. This allows you to prioritize your tasks effectively. Number 3. Set Intentions Identify the key areas or goals you want to focus on the following day. This could be professional, personal, or self-care related. Write down your intentions, ensuring they're specific, actionable, and aligned with your values and aspirations. Number 4. Visualize Success Close your eyes and visualize yourself accomplishing your goals and intentions for the next day. Feel a sense of achievement and satisfaction. This visualization exercise helps create a positive mindset and sets the stage for a successful day ahead of you. Number 5. Create an Action Plan Break down your intentions into actionable steps. Write down the specific tasks or actions required to move closer to your goals. This helps you clarify your priorities and provides a roadmap for the next day. By journaling for the next day, you're proactively shaping your day instead of just reacting to it. It empowers you to start each day with clarity, focus, and intention, which leads to increased productivity and a greater sense of accomplishment. In addition to planning, journaling for the next day also offers an opportunity for self-reflection. As you jot down your intentions and review your progress, you gain insights into your habits, strengths, and areas for growth. This self-awareness is essential for personal development and achieving long-term goals. Want to know another secret way to improve yourself? Then check out this video right now!